Welcome back everyone, iOS 14.7 just came out today so let's take a look at it on the iPhone 6s. Now, this update was a fairly large update for sure. Well, I guess I didn't screenshot it on this specific phone but it was about 1 point something gigabytes on pretty much all my devices so do keep that in mind. Now here's the thing with this update right. First of all, it brought the support for the MagSafe charger, which that in and of itself is the biggest thing. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work on the 6S, so there's really no point in hitting on it on here, but it is something that's pretty cool. A lot of people were complaining about battery life. I will test that on the 6S and all these other iPhones and get back to you guys about that. Apple Card got some improvements. The podcast library now allows you to choose to see all the shows or only followed shows. So if you're somebody who uses the podcast app, I personally don't use it, but if you do, then that's awesome. And we also have braille displays could show invalid information while composing mail messages. So if you're somebody who uses that, then that has pretty much been updated as well. So that's really it, you know, that, this isn't like that crazy of an update. It mostly is just an update for the MagSafe capability. Other than that, it's pretty basic. No issues installing it or anything like that. I do have another iPhone success on iOS 15 though. So we'll go ahead and do a little bit of a speed comparison right now. So let's go ahead and see that. All right, let's get into it. All the apps will clear it out in the background, as you guys can see. So I'm going to hop out of these. The iPhone success. Now, iOS 14 success is on the right. iOS 15 success is on the left. There's a wire in the way. Let's get into it. Let's do phone calls. Three, two, one. And iOS 15 kind of looked a little bit faster. Let's do music. Three, two, one. And I think iOS 15, maybe. Nope. 14 is definitely the faster one. 14.7 right there. I'm going to this one. Let's do app stores. Three, two, one. And you can see iOS 14.7 is on the right. It looked like it was faster. Scrolling through here, you can see about the same thing, not that big of a difference. Hopping out of here, let's do news, three, two, one. And I think the iPhone 6S may have been a little bit faster on iOS 15 this time around. So pretty cool. Let's go and get into something like photos, three. Oh, let's just skip into some of these third party apps which I still don't have on iOS 15, which is so annoying. So I'll have to go back and let's get into something like stocks. Three, two, one. And 15 looks faster. 14.7, a little bit behind. Again, not that big of a deal. Let's get into books. Three, two, one. And pushed up a little bit on the 14.7 device. So not really sure why that happened there. And we'll go ahead and end it off with something like camera or the two photos. Three, two, one. So you can see again, 14.7, I seem like a little bit faster there. So, so that essentially covers it up in the speed comparison department. Definitely I would say 14.7 is about the same as 15. There's really not that big of a difference as I can tell, but still really worthwhile update for sure. So to kind of sum up this video and to answer the question, should you install iOS 14.7 on your iPhone success? I will say absolutely, you know, this is a worthwhile update for sure. It really didn't bring a crazy amount to the table for the success specifically, mostly just bug fixes and stuff like I mentioned. I mean, some cool things if you use Apple Card or the podcast app a lot. But other than that, it didn't really bring any super crazy. Like I mentioned, there were a lot of issues with 14.6, and I think that was the last version. There was no 14.6.1 as far as I remember. We got 15, you know, which is cool. But definitely, if it's between 15 and 14.7 right now, stick with iOS 14.7. Do not install iOS 15 just yet, especially on an iPhone success. You're going to cause a lot of issues. Really, the only reason I would recommend not installing this update is if you want to jailbreak your phone. Other than that, I would highly recommend staying on the lowest version of the software, which right now is 14.7, even 14.6. But like I mentioned, 14.6 had a couple issues here and there. So 14.7 looks like it's more stable overall. That's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.